hope that this never happens to anybody ever again. Christopher Hampton's family did not want to speak with us tonight, but as new details emerged from the Navajo County Sheriff's Office report, the Hampton's family attorney, Benjamin Taylor, had this to say. The family is distraught. They're still grieving. Those coaches who let Christopher and the other boys go to the lake and drown. In the report, at least two Cesar Chavez football coaches, including head coach William Chipley, who has since resigned, knew that Christopher did not know how to swim and that Christopher's mom, Tonisha, told police she always put that on his paperwork. In an earlier interview with Arizona's family, his dad, Omega McDaniels, described the questions going through his head when he first spoke to police. Well, how can this even happen for a parent to get that phone call that his son is missing? somewhere in a, in, in, a, in a lake. It should have never happened. The report shows that the athletic director at Blue Ridge High School, where the football team was staying, told Cesar Chavez coaches that he did not want the team swimming at the lake and that the coaches told him the team would not be swimming and would be going to a campsite instead. Taylor says the responsibility lies not just with the coaches, but with the entire Cesar Chavez administration. Learn to listen to warnings. Make sure that you have permission slips from parents before you go anywhere with children. When you have students' lives in your hands, you need to take full responsibility. We did reach out to the Phoenix Union High School District to try to see if they had any thoughts regarding any policy changes moving forward after what happened to Christopher. We did not hear back from them. Chris's family, they are seeking $50 million from the district, and the head coach and the athletic director at Cesar Chavez both resigned after Hampton's death. Live in Phoenix, Elliot Polikoff, Arizona's family. All right, Elliot, thanks for that follow-up tonight.